This is an egg, fully cooked, perfectly round, but not cooked in the way most people would. You see, this egg was cooked on my 3D printer. How, you might ask? Well, you're about to find out. Before we get started, let me outline what I'm doing today. I've got an enclosed printer with a chamber heater hoping to bake some cookies and cook a fried egg. The egg is to test conduction, the cookie is to test convection. So I guess we'll see what happens. Now the first problem I ran into is that the printer wouldn't let me set the chamber to anything over 60 degrees Celsius. And I wasn't going to force it to go any higher because it could melt the belts and stuff on the inside of the machine. So here's the plan. Since this printer won't let me set the chamber to anything above 60 degrees Celsius, we're gonna have to get creative. My thought is, what if I can make a mold that'll trap the heat from the bed, which gets up to higher temperatures to cook the cookie? To cook a cookie, you need the temperature to be 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 140 degrees Celsius. And even though the print bed gets hotter, it still doesn't get quite that hot. It gets up to about 120 degrees Celsius. So it's gonna be more like a slow cook, but it's our only option so far. The other option could somehow be the nozzle because the nozzle gets up to 230 degrees Celsius or hotter, I think. But there really isn't a way for something that small like the nozzle to heat up the whole chamber. So I chose to go with the ring mold and here's how that model came out. Okay, so here's the ring mold. It's pretty simple. It's just a circle that's been extruded with a little bit of a lip here so it can hold the lid. The lid is to trap the heat inside the mold. So yeah, I think it's time to print it on my flash forge. The filament I'm using is food safe ASA. I chose ASA because it can handle higher temperatures, which I might need if I'm baking cookies. Also, please do not do this. It's probably not the safest thing. And the parts came out great. No warping or anything. The flash forge is always really good with ASA parts, but I think now it's time to make the dough. Good evening. I think it's time to start making the dough. Also, this bowl is way too big. While preparing the dough, I channeled my inner Gordon Ramsay to add way too much baking soda and almost no salt. The cookie should still turn out though, but the printer I'm not sure about. I'm not even sure if it's hot enough in there for the cookies to rise, but I guess we'll find out. Cookie dough. Um, I didn't have semi-sweet chips, so we're gonna have to use butterscotch. Ah. Uh, this'll come up later. I'm gonna make the egg first. Since food is going on this plate and I don't wanna die, I clean it first. But now we're pretty much ready to go and all we have to do is tape on the ring. Before we run our first test, I'm gonna make sure that the ring is secured to the printer because I do not want egg to leak all over the printer. I hope the adhesive doesn't melt, it'll work. I had it secured, but to make sure there were no leaks, I'm gonna crack an egg into it dry first. And by that, I mean not in the printer. Okay, we have an egg, we have spray, and we have the thing set up. I'm just gonna give it a spray so it doesn't stick. Holy crap. That's gonna be perfect. I'm gonna have to clean this desk up. Okay. We just need a way to get that printer to heat up without actually printing something. That shouldn't be too hard. I think there, I can just heat the bed up, right? Okay, we have a little leakage, but I think it'll be fine. I think we're just gonna set it there and watch. As you can see, the first few minutes didn't have much change and it was pretty slow, so I decided to heat it up a bit. Okay, heating it up to 110 degrees Celsius. These next few minutes at a higher temperature saw about the same amount of change. The white on the end started to turn a little bit whiter, but it wasn't exactly what I was looking for yet. And the white has stopped spreading out any further, so I think it's starting to solidify. We are really getting some color around it. It's white and the yellow is looking a little bit more bright, I guess. I don't know. This is about where I realized the most change, but there was still a lot of time left to go. The white's really starting to come out. And as you can see, it's getting hotter around the edges because the stuff that was coming out is now starting to solidify even more. The printer is starting to smell like eggs. And um, I didn't really think that through. I might need to like spray it down with Febreze or something. Egg smell aside, this experiment was actually looking very good. The top is still goopy, but the bottom is cooked. So I think what I'm gonna do is cover it with the lid. The printer's still at 110 degrees Celsius and I let the cover sit on it for a few minutes. So let's take it off and that cover's stuck on there. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the whole structure supporting it. Look at that. That's an egg. That's crazy. It's not fully cooked yet. We're gonna let it go just a little bit longer, but it's round. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. You can see the steam coming off of it. I think we're gonna call it there because I don't know how much more it's really gonna get cooked and it's not sticking. I think that uh, spray worked. Look at that, holy crap. This is what we got left behind on the printer though. Yeah, that's what we have left behind on the printer. This is what we made. That's almost a perfect circle and it's cooked from the bottom up. The plate is warm at the bottom, like I, that's warm. I'm gonna clean all this up and then I'm gonna toss in the cookie for the first try. With the egg being a bigger success than I anticipated, I naturally had high hopes going into the cookie. We'll see how long that lasts. 
I got to play most of the clean, but not all the way, because I know we're going to still be cooking some more stuff on there. So, I mean, I think the only thing we have left to try is the cookie. The cookie should take longer because it has a lot more to bake. I made smaller cookies because um, I thought it would be easier. And I also probably don't have to tape it down since it's not going to be leaking everywhere. I'm just going to toss the mold down. Here are our cookie balls to choose from. Good night. I'm going to put the lid back on so you guys won't be able to see very much. I'll come back in about 30 minutes and we'll check if it's cooked. Okay, the cookie's been cooking for about 10 minutes. Let's check on it. It's starting to sag down and melt, but it hasn't actually started cooking yet. We'll come back in about 10 more minutes. About 10 minutes later, we have a little bit more of an update. The chocolate chips are starting to melt and it's starting to flatten a little more and it's warm and soft. We'll check back in another 10. This is another 10 minutes later. It's starting to flatten a little bit more, but it's still not where I'd like it. Big news, I'm not sure how far in we are, probably about 45 minutes, but we're starting to get solidified edges of the cookie and the whole thing's been fully melted down or whatever you'd call that. I think we only got another 15 minutes. I thought it would take about 30 minutes. Looks like it's gonna take closer to one hour. Okay, the top of the cookie has kind of stopped cooking. So I think what we're going to do is flip it so it gets direct heat contact with the bed. Oh, perfect. The spray worked. Let's look at the bottom of that. Guys, look at that. That's like the perfect bottom of a cookie. I mean, we could call it, but I also want to get that on the top too. So we'll toss that down and we're just going to let it go for a few more minutes. We're going to take her out now. I still can't get over that bottom. And this is how the top came out too. I think it looks pretty good for a 3d printer cookie but there was only one way to know if it was really good or not so i took it past my cat across the hill and over to my grandma's house because if there was only one person who wouldn't lie to me to make me feel better it's my grandma let's see what she says take a bite and tell me what you think mm, delicious good job after all that i'd done it i tried and gosh golly i succeeded but uh yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and comment if you think i should make pancakes on this thing next